Today is Utah Blood Donation Day, so what a time to talk about our emergency nationwide blood shortage. The American Red Cross is, of course, urging you to donate blood, and we have Benjamin Donner in studio to talk about it here today. Benjamin, thank you so much for being with us. So Absolutely. I want to talk about this, Utah Blood Donation Day. Yes. We talked about, uh, not a lot of people know about it. What does it mean? How did it start? Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. This is something more to provide awareness, to bring it top of mind, because as we've discussed, it's not always top of mind until you need it, mm -hmm. right? And so our, our good governor has, has been kind enough to add to the list of states that recognize today, September 4th, as Utah Blood Donation Day. And it, it's something that at some point affects the majority of us, whether personally, whether a family member, a friend, and we just, we really want to make sure that it's a community effort to make sure we have enough blood on the shelf. And I feel like this is something we've talked about often, right? Yeah. Constantly the need for, for blood donations and this shortage. Why does it feel like we are consistently in that shortage? So the biggest reason over the past 20 years, we have seen a decline of about 40% of our nationwide blood donors. So that number is shrinking over the past 20 years. We have that core group that they're always there. They always come and do it, but it's becoming not enough. We need to get new donors, younger donors, those that this really hasn't been part of their life. Get them interested, come help us save a life. If there are people out there who maybe think I'm just one person. Yeah. I won't really make a difference. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to that? Oh, I, I have a lot I can say about that. But to that one family that that donation saves their life or keeps their parent there, it means the world. It's a very simple act of humanitarian work that we can do. But to the person that receives it, it means everything. And Benjamin, if you don't mind me asking, you mentioned this is a cause kind of personal to you. Yeah. You've been directly affected by this. Can you tell us more about that? Absolutely. So I've donated for the past many, many years since I was a teenager. But several years ago, I found myself in the emergency room on the other end of that, needing an emergency transfusion to stay here. And it was, it was a scary time, I'll be honest, but knowing that the blood was on the shelf in the minute that I needed it, it, it provided a lot of comfort and, and I'm still here because of those four incredible people that I will never know. I'll never get a chance to thank them but they meant the world to me, to my family. What an example of the impact people yes. can have. For those people who are interested, who want to help, where can they go to learn more? Absolutely. Best place, redcrossblood.org. You can download our blood donor app. It's got amazing information. Even we'll let you know where was your blood used. That's a great day when you see that note. Uh, but redcrossblood.org or our blood donor app. Okay, that's the information you can find again today, Utah Blood Donation Day. All things to keep in mind, Benjamin. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Appreciate it.